Hi, it's Simon Stockhausen here with another Falcon tutorial. Today let's have a look at the power of modulation mappers, um, which can be applied to modify a modulation signal and it's usable for e.g. creating pitch scales. Um, so you can then use an LFO to modulate pitch but it will only play the pitches determined by the modulation mapper. Or you can create exponential LFO curves and all sorts of things. So here I've quickly dialed in a FM sound in unison mode. Um, why is it so soft? Let's check. Ah, okay. It's on the bus. Yeah, that'll do. So, let's start with assigning pitch to an LFO, for instance. Yeah, that's the normal sine wave. Let's take a triangle. So now you see this little thing here opens the mapper editor. So let's create a new mapper, add. And the thing is, with um, mappers, I will explain now. So let's say we will create a pentatonic scale, meaning we have five notes per octave, something like. And we want this to happen over a two octave range. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We would need 11 nodes to cover the full range. So this is where size comes in. We set it to 11. So the whole mapper will only allow for 11 nodes to occur. Now we want the range, in our case, minus 12 to plus 12, giving us a two octave range, so it's a bipolar mapper. And we don't want the interpolated, but we want the integer output, so it doesn't interpolate between the steps. Now we have to do some editing, so the first step is minus 12 semitones, second step would be minus 10, so it's, we are doing this on a C pentatonic C scale. Minus 10 would be the D, minus 8 would be the E, minus 5 would be the G, minus 3 the A, then we are at C, so it's 0. You can also drag it, but it's a drag dragging it, because you'll never really get the accurate. You can use the... no, you can't even... So let's just use uh, typing it in with the keyboard, it's very fast. So it's plus 2 for the D, plus 4 for the E, 7 for the G, 9 for the A, sorry, 9, and 12 for the octave. Now we can rename that, let's pentatonic. Whoops. Okay. And now, if you have a look at this, uh, the range, you would maybe think that the range of the modulation would have to be 24 semitones, but no. Um, the mapper will take care of the range and the range set in the modulation amount is one semitone, meaning this is the smallest possible unit um, that the mapper is then processing. So, let's listen. You get the idea? you can use all sorts of shapes. We can use a random shape, sync it, and 
then it will randomly select any of the notes allowed by the mapper. And it, as this is now in unison mode, it's processing each of the three voices. You see it's three, three unison voices here. It's processing each of the voices independently. It's quite interesting. Okay, now we could use the modulation wheel as a submodulator. So you even have microtonal steps if you want. So only with the wheel fully engaged will we reach the pentatonic scaling. Now let's now let's leave it like that. We could now of course also use a step sequencer for doing the pitch modulation. So let's use the stepper. And as the stepper doesn't have a scaling on its own, which is a bit of a drag, you can use the mapper to do the scaling for you. Otherwise you would have to type in percentage, which I did before started using mappers. Um, so you would have to divide, let's say, if you want a range of um, 12 semitones, then divide 100 by 12, then you get the step size, and then you would have to type, type in 8 point whatever percent that is, so that's a drag, you don't want to do that. 0 0.8, 0 0.08 I think is the roughly well, I'm not using a calculator again now. I have a mapper. So let's apply the mapper to the step envelope. Load. Oh, wait, I have to save it first. I thought I'd done that. Oh, there already is one. Penta01. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's not loading it. Ah, oh, okay, I have it here. What am I doing? Sorry. So, but now the thing is, um, of course, you don't have the full range of the stepper available. So you will have to do it by ear. But it's much easier than typing in percentages. And you can just use your ear and not worry about values. Now you could also we have a filter here already, a high pass. So we could use the same stepper to modulate high pass pitch, dial in some resonance, and also use the scaling of the. Uh, not so much. Use the same mapper. This is useful for tuned filters like if you have a key follow filter. We have to set this to re-trigger. Oh, the range is much too high. Let's set it to 0.2. Too big. Because the smallest possible value is what we are looking for. Oh, one, two. Can you get the idea? Of course.
course, you can also create um, microtonal pitch scales or, of course, chromatic. So let's make a new one. A chromatic would be 25 steps for two octaves with a range of minus 12 to plus 12. And then you would just type in, I won't do this now, but minus 11, minus 10, and so on. And once you've saved that, you can always use it again. I don't know why the loading... Ah, now it works, see? <laughs> okay. Minus 11, minus 10, and so on. So, Or if you divide um, an octave into 48 steps, then you're getting microtonal. Or you invent your own scaling or whatever so you get the idea and i think this is enough for now enjoy the mapping bye